Hi, this is Bezenance uh, with another tutorial. Uh, I was asked to do a tutorial on how to create a, a 3D effect. Uh, in order to achieve a 3D, uh, three-dimensional space in a mix, you need to think about um, uh, the left, right, front to back, top to bottom. Uh, we can achieve these uh, uh, results by creating a automation Pan on the panning from left to right, so we create a uh, movement between the width from directions. Uh, then we can create a uh, reverb effect, uh, like automate the dry wet signal on the reverb, and that will create a movement between our front and back. Um, another way to achieve this result is using a um, automation on volume. Anything that is louder will be closer to you. Anything that is quieter will be moved toward the back of the mix. And um, so we can use that as well. And for for the height dimension, we need to use a technique to um, basically move between the frequencies. So uh, the way the sound is perceived is uh, lower frequencies seem to be coming from the uh, bottom and the higher frequencies seem to come be coming from the top. Uh, and if you were to create a kind of sound that uh, moves between these frequencies from uh, higher frequencies to lower frequencies, you're basically going from top to bottom. So we can use like a filter to filter a sound in a certain way so to achieve this kind of sound. Um, so, for this tutorial, I have created, uh, I've used one LFO to automate all these parameters that I talked about. Panning uh, using utility, uh, frequency using uh, auto filter, and reverb, um, the dry wet uh, amount of the reverb. So we are going basically, we are scanning through all of these dimensions and moving in between all of them. Um, and I've used another LFO to just modulate the rate of the first LFO just to create a variation in this uh, so the I, I can achieve some rhythm in between these uh, dimensions. Uh, my source signal that I've been I've used to uh, do this effect is this sound. This is a sound that I actually created using just a kick drum. So this is basically, this is the sound that transformed it to this. And I haven't done, I haven't done much on this. It's just I've created a, a feedback loop between two uh, audio interfaces and I'm gonna have a tutorial on how to make actually this sound exactly using a kick drum uh, in the next episodes. Uh, so stay tuned for that. If you listen to the sound itself, it already has a movement between the frequencies. So it's basically a kick drum and then those higher frequencies are added and removed. So you kind of actually are already going between the uh, height dimension. And then we're going left, right. The reverb we are going from front to back, front to back. And I've just added this uh, auto filter to make it more interesting. Uh, this is the sound I was going after for, for what I'm making in this track. And if you haven't watched the previous tutorial on what, uh, how quantize affects the auto filter, I highly recommend you watch that because uh, it's a really interesting effect that you can use on many different uh, it has many different applications. You can use it on uh, any sound. Uh, my favorite is um, anything percussive and uh, anything with the rich harmonics, like a pad with like extended chords or something like that. And then I'm using this. Um, so we are by this we are creating this movement between the dimensions already. All the dimensions are touched. So you're tricked to think that the sound is actually going from here, top right, uh, on the back, to front, bottom left, and this keeps moving. 
and if you were to do this with a uh, slower uh, rate LFO uh, you could hear that this actually uh, easier and then I'm adding the second LFO just to create a, a rhythm between this LFO and this LFO and that is more than enough to give me material to start a track really it has everything I need, it has uh, harmony in it, it has groove and it really inspires me to make a track so you just add the kick drum and bass that really gives me something to work uh, that is all for this session. Uh, if you would like to know how to make this sound out of this sound, uh, tune in next time and I will go over that. This is something actually I uh, found out accidentally yesterday by experimenting between my audio interfaces as I was trying to create a path between them and then I ended up with this uh, feedback loop and um, as I was playing around with it I'm like this is cool. This is exactly what I've been looking for. So I'm uh, looking forward to share this with you guys next time. Until next time, stay safe.